Back to the obsidian fields. I'm going the wrong way. Back to the obsidian fields. <laughs> Hello lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Sorry, I got distracted because suddenly there's a million side quests here that I didn't expect. Okay, first of all, I look amazing. Uh, second of all, side quests. Hi! A marvellous rich tone. How's it produced? I must know! Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> didn't see you there. What do you want? I want to learn more about Cricketot. I like Cricketot. They're so cute. They're little mustachioed musical buddies. Sure. Catch a Cricketot. Okay. I've not even seen one. They must be further afield. Hi. Nice hero stance. You're that boy from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushroom... 20 years? How old are you? Okay. If people see you making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. I'll teach you the recipe. Okay. Scrounge not from the forages of thy fellows. Just need a springy mushroom. Okay, cool. Springy mushroom. Hi, buddies. Hi. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you be for now. I'll let you exist in peace. Hey guys, I'm gonna let you exist in peace too. Since I finished your Pokedex entries, Shinx I haven't though. Whoa, did you see that backwards leap it just did? That was fucking cool. Hey Shinxie. Defeat with ground type moves. See it use bite, obtain different forms. See it use ground type moves. I don't think I have any ground type moves. Whoops. Hi. Use bite. Good buddy. One more time. Ta-da! Good to get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of quest stuff done on the way. Hi! There are many strong Pokémon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first- Oh! Okay. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. No problem, mate. Look at my roll. Can do. Hi, Akari. Hello, little fella. This is Blaunt. <laughs> I love your outfit. I'm one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan, you may call me Mai. Yeah, what's the problem? Do you feel confident you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Hell yeah. Hi Munchlax, we were raised together like siblings. <laughs> it's not the first time somebody said that in a Pokemon game, but it always makes me laugh. Sounds like Akari could learn from you too. Oh, we're gonna battle. No, okay. I don't know anything about Munchlax. I don't know what's good against a Munchlax. Try Thundershock. Okay, not good. Although it is paralyzed. Okay, not paralyzed enough, apparently. What about Vine? Not great. Ugh, none of my Pokemon are particularly high level. Come out, Oshawa. Oops, I forgot I forgot how the thing works. I press I press buttons wrong. Yes, please. This fella's tough. Maybe I should have tried a strong tackle instead or whatever. Oh well, never mind. It's fine. It's down. Jeez, that was rough. What the heck? Okay, good. Oh, yes. Bidu's master to move. Everything's looking better. Okay. Oh, we made Munchlax sad. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon the battle for us. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. I'll let you have these. Vivichokes. 
Use Dimps material for crafting items that can restore vitality to a Pokemon's face. Oh, cool. Ooh, legendary hero of old, you see. You say. An alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon deer track heights. It's a large, fearsome foe. Yeah, of course. Uh. Okay, great. That's handy then. Oh, thanks, buddy. Munchlax looks so sad. Do you already do you know about Almighty Sinnoh? Yeah, sure. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. It stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Okay. Okay, so this is a this is a blessed honored Pokemon. We should probably be careful then. Cool. Um in the meantime. <gasps> Oh, oh, Cricketot. I think it will come any closer. Maybe I can just, while it's facing the other way. Oh! Yes, Cricketot! And caught unawares, right? Yeah, yeah. Oops. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, little buddy. You're so cute. You're so freaking cute. Fantastic. Defeat some. Give it food. Different forms. Evolve. The normal stuff. Seems like there's some basics that apply to kind of every Pokemon. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. This one running around like a little fool again. Oh, you're so cute. Run away? No, didn't run away. Uh, use Aerial Ace. Destroy it with your bird powers. Damn. Well done, Starly. Just gonna grab some uh, berries. The music's really nice in this too. Just feels really nice to run around and throw Pokeballs and catch Pokemon and... Whoa! That's a big old red-eyed Snorlax over there. Hey buddy. Oh wow, jeez, he seems unhappy. That seems bad, right? That seems like it's... that seems like it'd be bad. Okay. What's going on? Oh! It's a Geodude! <laughs> Do an Agile Gust. <laughs> huh. Where are you going, Geodude? I know I'm doing pretty ineffective moves, but um, I want to catch one. I'm sorry for startling you, buddy. I just wanted to get some shiny rocks. You understand. Geo, dude. Geo, dude. Yes. Come on. Geo dude, new buddy. Oh sweet. Okay, so Jiggly. Oh, number you've seen leap out of ore deposits. Jiggly buddies. It's uh, it's Pokemon. 
that's the most like non one of the most nonsensical sentences I've ever said. But whatever. Oh, that looks like a different type of ore. Sorry, I didn't mean to start you, Starly. Somebody's got a quest down there. I should have followed the main path really, but I got. Oh, cool! Those are for making um debris doos. Those are for making thingamies. Hard thingamies. Pepper plant. Cool. Or regular tumblestone. Whee! Huh. It's lovely out here, isn't it? Hey, fella. What's up? Oh, there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. I've got some cherry berries. There you go. Sure. Way ahead of you, my dude. I've been throwing my Pokemon at all kinds of trees. <laughs> Non-stop. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Oh. Well, let's try it. So that's what it means by number you've... Why is that tree looking at me? Oh, there's a Starly in the tree! <gasps> How precious! Oh my gosh, it's jumping about in the tree! Why right, I just love a little berry down here? Okay, sorry guys, I'm going to start for you right now. Oh, it's getting dark. I wonder if different Pokemon come out at night, like in the other, like in the other games. Immediately distracted again. Cricketot does want food. So if there's some Cricketot around here that we can feed, we should bloody do it. There's one right over there. I'm just going to get some berries. Whoa, what was that? Driftloon! Oh my god, I love Driftloon. You don't understand. Oh, it disappeared. Oh my god, the noise they make is so amazing. No! Ah, oh, just at the wrong time. Is that one appearing? Yes. Go! Oh, it's got all spooky nighttime music! Yes, Drifloon! Oh, it's seen me. It's angry! It's mad. It could pop up anywhere and be mad. There it is. Ooh, angry Drifloon! Oh, it's coming out the gate. Pretty strong. Go on, Starly. Uh oh. Starly? Uh oh. Starly's tired. How long before uh, can we just go hard real quick? Ooh. Starly! Oh no, my buddy. Okay, pull out our short. Oops. Uh, yeah, try it. Try it. Yes. Oh my gosh, my poor buddy. Oops. Oh, Biddy uh, got another a new move. How do I favourites? What is favourites? Okay, never mind. I'll figure it out later. Can we craft any revives? Yes, we can. Okay. Oh, we can craft a couple of heavy balls. Too heavy to fly high or far, but highly effective. So harder to throw, but more effective. All right. Oh, hi, little buddy. I should start naming these. Got any ideas for names for my little buddies? Put it in the comments. 
Hey, buddy, look at that. Did I startle it? Oh, I startled it. But look, tasty. Tasty. Nuts. Nuts. Hey, buddy, go grab that for me, will you? Cheers. Boink. I'll catch some a couple more, but I'll um I'll see if I can fight some with uh, Oshawa too. Maybe you go and get that for me. It looks cool. Oh, it's pepper plant. Thanks, buddy. Are those two squaring off? They're like posturing. <laughs> hey, hey, spin around. Surely that other one has seen me now. No. Yeah, they're a bit disturbed now. Maybe this is the time to uh, fight one. Instead of catching him. He's mad, he's so mad. He's a mad, bad boy. One more time, little buddy. Sorry, dear dude. Yeah, plus three others. Do you go and uh, grab some of those? Is that a Zubat? Fucking Zubat. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to catch a bunch. I wonder if there's like a, what the limit is on Pokemon storage because there's just so many. There's just so many to catch. What are these guys? Uh... Oh! Oh, is it morning? So the Zubat have just flown away and the Starly have returned. Okay. That's unfortunate timing. Never mind, it's fine. My Starly back out. Yeah. Would you let's stick with Oshawott for a bit since we've got that quest for the Geodude? What's this? Just a little bit of a ruin. Cool. Hi, Geodude. Ooh, there's loads of cool ruins here. Actually, Wally mm, was facing the other way. Bang! Get in my ball. Yeah! Hello. So what's the deal with this special Pokemon that needs to be sorted out? Oh, the professor's come along. What her? Ah, come see the spectacle. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness, I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient... One of those ancients... Blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. That's not it. That's only a troublemaker, here to disturb the peace with its racket. Cricketune! And that's what you're here for, Blaunt. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokémon are ready for the battle. Oh, thank you. What a large specimen! Little wonder alpha Pokémon appeared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one! They're strong and may know moves others of their kind... Do not. I believe you are stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Blaunt. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokémon have some strong moves at their disposal. Okay, Pokémon whose eyes glow red are called alpha Pokémon. They're larger and may know different moves. They appear to be very difficult to catch. But I want it. Hi, buddy. Okay, let's um, stick with my Starly, because, you know, we want them flying type moves. Oh, okay, it's got to be a cutscene interaction. Oh, look at your fabulous big moustache. You're so wonderful, I love you. Go, Starly! Oh, Starly's so small and cute! Press the Y button during battle to check the action order. Okay, cool. 
The Alpha Cricketune is filled with might. Oh, it can use Aerial Ace. Well, fuck me. <laughs> and it's already... It's already hurting my buddy. Alright, Uno Reverso. Oh, okay. Okay. Bring out Oshawa. And then... Revive my Starly. You okay, buddy? It's still using it, I realize! Um... What does Sword Stance do? Oh, up offensive stance. I'm just holding onto the vein hope that I might be able to catch this fella. Oh, Osha was fainted. Oh boy. Oh god. Uh, get Shinx out here. Shinx. I hope my will, um, freaking heal my Pokemon after this. Get bald. Get my ball. Yeah, badass Cricketune is mine. Oh, look at all those level ups. <gasps> Starly can evolve. Yeah. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best an alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old, which is definitely me. I'm definitely the new hero. Oh, thank you. I was hoping that would happen. Phew, good job, everyone. Is that going to be the descendant of ancient Sinnoh Pokemon? Oh! Oh, hi! Word dear! Hi! Look at you! Are you pleased that we defeated that alpha in your hanging out in your crib? Oh my gosh, look at it! I love it! It's got a big old beard. He looks upon you with kindness, Blaunt. Yeah, he's got a real kind expression. <laughs> there he's off. I'd say the Great Word here has taken a liking to you. That's fortunate. He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. Hello. Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Lavendon Blaunt. Hi, Kari. Did you see what we just did? It was cool, right? Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Blaunt carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. I know this is a joint decision by Adamant and the Commander, but still, it's, is it truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this? Cool, thank you. Thanks, Mai. Groovy, so I'm guessing this is where we're going to set up the new base camp. So I can come straight here. Heck yeah, we gotta complete this Pokedex. Ta da! Here we have it our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I call it the Heights Camp. Good name. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Sweet, that will be helpful. Back to the wolf hour for a little snacky. Oh, so I do a report every time I go back. Ten or more Pokemon in one report. Uh, different Pokemon species caught four. Four for the first time. Seven caught using a backstrike. <laughs> one alpha Pokemon caught. Oh yeah! Mad points. Only 370 to the next star rank. Oh, we're cooking with gas. We truly are the best. Like no one ever was. Betty old 
charm. The usual potato emoji, please. Make up three today as well. Do we really eat the same thing every day? We also only seem to have one meal per day. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumours. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate this morning. Uh oh. This is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. If further investigation is in order, the Servo Corps will of course step up to the task. Oh dear. I'm sure Blonde can handle things just fine. Even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Gosh. You forget the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we have the Survey Corps are bound to do to... Lost my train a little bit part of the way through that. Not that you would have noticed or anything. Good morning, Blaunt! You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. Why? <laughs> Look who's being punctual. Finally realise you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham? Uh. There you go again, insulting. Insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh. The font of all creation and ruler of space. Ha! You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting you make better use of your time than we make of vast history space? Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan, in our world's very basis. You wish. So they're being dum-dums because he's the ruler of- or he's the creator of time and space. And they've each picked one. <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Alright. I like their outfits though. You can feel the tension when those two show up. The one with the reverence for space is Iridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is going on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Not Diamond and Pearl, of course. Grudgingly coexist at the moment. Things used to be less peaceful. Okay. Yeah, let's report to the commander. And then we'll worry about whatever the heck you know, all this grump grumpusness. Oh, we've got to go upstairs. Oh, hang on, somebody in here wants something. Oh, it's the professor's board that he was talking about. Oh my gosh, look at Cyndaquil. Hi, I love you. Yes, I do. What's this? It's hard to guess what this is supposed to do, but it certainly looks impressive. It does. It's like some... Jules Verne shit. Many, many things. Cool. I do solemnly declare that I shall record in all due detail the modes of life of all the history regions Pokemon. Bothersome Bidoof! Okay. A band of Bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the Security Corps and see if you can help set things in order. And playing with Drifloon. Several people have spotted a Drifloon playing with one of the village children. Mickey from the security corps can tell you more. Oh, hello Rowlet. I see you up there. My little boy, my little round boy. My round son. Hi. I'm looking for a pickling stone. It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Best thing would be for the stone. Oh! You're gonna recruit a Geodude to <laughs> to be your pickling stone. Let me give you this- oh, she's all the way back in her house now. Okay, well never mind. I'll go and give her the pickling stone after I talk to the commander. Hi everyone. We weren't gossiping about you or anything. What do you intend to do about the cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may dis be descended from warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. Yeah. Time wasted is lost. 
Beaver is a precious Lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? My clan can't intervene directly where a Lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Someone's got to do something. Who then? Who would, would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honoured nobles? We don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. Hello. This is Blaunt. Nice to meet you. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Marida, leader of the Pearl Clan, caution and foresight in my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? That seems like a really good idea, my dude. Our weird ways. Putting Pokemon in strange balls and what have you. Yeah, we are pretty weird. I understand why it would bother you, Irida. Okay, I'll study Cleaver. No problem. I know, people keep telling me. People won't stop telling me how I need to work hard to prove myself. I've been doing nothing but. Okay. Yeah, he's very strong. I'm just going to study him, though. I'm not going to do anything. It's fine. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We must do anything that threatens our relationship with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? Yep. Join me downstairs, Blonde. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Okay, great. Thanks. Hey, Professor. So, Blaunt, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's friends the state. Cleaver is a mighty thing, now I misbelieve believing. The security court tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. Seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Not particularly. <laughs> Blonde can handle it. Diamond and Pearl clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty sinner. They leave offerings to express their gratitude. Blah blah blah. Perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Why is nobody saying anything? What now? That rift in space-time seems like it connects a world to another world. The world might be where the almighty Sinnoh itself resides. If you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you travelled through time, by almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You might have just been swimming in its divine might. Quell his frenzy. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. I'm sure they'd rather get this under the control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. We in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Oh dear. Ah, oh, I'm the best hope. Find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena, that's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leanne. Leanne is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well... He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Okay. Uh, uh, but bye. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was just thinking the same thing, the Venton. Okay. Cool. Can I say hi to Abra while I'm here? Good. <laughs> Glad we got that out of the way. What now? Nice chops. 
what's up, fella? You can carry around even more in that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. Yeah, teach me! Sure. I can keep one more kind of item in my satchel. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, teach me. Go on, might as well up upgrade a couple of slots. Guess who's got a little geo dude for you? I sure am. Have this lowest level one of mine. <laughs> Look at him. With his geo dude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. It seems like the geo dude doesn't mind. Look at that! Pokemon and people working together, just how it's meant to be. Hey, you guys farming? Oh, you're hoping you can bury stuff here? Ooh! Sure, plant an apricorn. Cool, 